full time at the IMAX or the Amax in Brighton. If it is Brighton of Albion 1, Chelsea 2. We are now gone. We are still fourth in the league. Two points behind Spurs. And I think we're three points ahead of Arsenal. Because Arsenal have just lost by three goals to two to Southampton. What a day. What a good day it's been. Seeing Arsenal lose to Spur to Southampton. And Chelsea beat Brighton. I would say the Brighton performance wasn't the best performance I've seen us play all season long. But we did play well in the first half. We got the first goal through Pedro. Uh, good work, good work play. And Hazard basically coast through their back line. Crossed it across the box for Pedro to tap in. And uh, that was 1-0. Then, I don't know, because I missed the goal. Um, I think it was a through ball straight through the midfield of Brighton's midfield. And Hazard was left with three defenders to take on himself. He took all three on his own and slotted it in the back of the net to make it 2-0. And I thought that was in the second half. That was Rosie, 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 Rosie at 2-0. I will go and get a hat for in this game. And then, Bright. I think it was in the second half or something. I don't know. But in the, I think it's the first half. It's 2 0. Yeah, 2 0 first half. Then in the second half, Brighton got more into the game. And then, sorry, March scored for Brighton. It was like a cross from the right, came across our box, came across back, back in our box. Jorginho tried to get up the header, tried to header it up. And all he could do was header it up. He tried to head the ball away and he couldn't even get near the ball. He just, put, he just jumped at the wrong moment. And it was 2-1 at that, at that stage. And I didn't really see any more clear-cut chances from either Chelsea or Brighton after that. But I'm happy as a Chelsea fan to say we've won two Premier League games in a row. Being Man City last week, now beating Brighton today. Now we go on now to the next game. That is Leicester City on Saturday. But first, we've got a League Cup game of the Carabao Cup to look forward to in midweek when we play Bournemouth at home at Stamford Bridge. Hopefully, we can win that goal for the next round of the Carabao Cup, which gladly sponsors Chelsea, so that's good. But we've got to hope now we're going to kick on and start the season. Sorry, ball is on the rise. I always will say that. Sorry, ball's on the rise. Because I was sorry, ball does. Yeah, sorry, ball. But I'm such in a good mood. Really, really good mood right at this moment in time. But can't get any better. Can't get any better than that. What a performance from the boys. Hazard played well. Pedro played well. When Drew came on, he didn't really do much. Put, put down in the comment section below what you thought of Chelsea's win over Brighton. Where you think Chelsea will finish at the end of the season. And... For sorry about if you're any barking, I've got two dogs and one of them's barking, so sorry if that's you can hear that in the background. Um, what you think the Chelsea Leicester score is going to be, and also what you think of the Chelsea Bournemouth Carabao Cup game the score is going to be. But and put down what you what who your favorite Chelsea player is, and put down if you like me doing these reviews of Chelsea games. Instead of doing match reactions, because I can't really do a match reaction. Because when I'm watching them on the stream, it's like you get no sound from them. So they get, you get no no sound, so it makes no sense. But reviewing them, I can tell you what I thought of it. And I thought it was a very good performance. Performance I would give it a, day, a 9 out of 10. It could have been slightly better. But I'm happy. I'm happy as Larry. You always got to be happy as Larry as a Chelsea fan. The only, the only downside I would say was... I didn't see Jorginho do much. If you know what I mean. I didn't see Jorginho do much. When Bartley came on, he's put, he he absolutely played well. When Loftus-Cheek came on, he played absolutely well. The best player on the park was a bit, was Hazard and Pedro. And w William was a bit of an offshore. Pedro and Hazard, best player on the pitch by far. Aris Abelaga, he's a good keeper. He kept, us in the, he kept us in front with chances and good saves. But... 
we have to wait and see how Bournemouth goes in midweek at home at Stamford Bridge in the Cup and see how Leicester goes at home in the Premier League. Ah, uh, yeah. And on Monday, Chelsea are in the draw for the UEFA Europa League. So I might end up doing a video for that, reacting to it. So you might see that on Monday. You might not. You just have to wait and see. Hope you guys have enjoyed this match review of Chelsea versus Brighton. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, click on the part of the notification squad and...